full power downwind. Look at that. Ready, Tom? Ready. Oh, yeah, that grooves. I like it. Hello viewers, subscribers and fellow RC pilots, Stuart here at Stuart Warnock C and what I have in front of me is my Fulia uh, RF4D motor glider. Now this is the aeronaut kit that uh, if you remember I brought second hand a few months ago now and what you're tuning in to see now, uh, well there's actually two things, uh, you will see a clean flight review which is the Maiden, uh, that will be in a separate video that I'm sure may already be live. Um, and then the full flight review. Um, now the full flight review, typically I like to do that after maybe five or six or ten plus flights on a model so I really get to know it. Didn't get the opportunity with this one because we were kind of rushing. So this one is a flight review after only about two or three flights so I'm still learning to fly this model as it were. There's a few things I want to change and that's why I'm giving this brief introduction now before we go into the, the main flight review. Uh, first of all, you'll see in the video, it does fly well, but down when I notice it gets a little kicked around. So from Motion RC Europe, I got, I don't know if you can see that there, this is the uh, A3L uh, V2 Gyro. Now, I wasn't really a big fan of gyros, but then I put one in my big uh, Tony Clark Cub, I think you can remember. Uh, if not, there's a link to that video below. Um, and that really tamed it down in the gustier conditions. And whilst this flies and penetrates really, really well, it, I felt that, you know, downwind and even a little bit of gust, it probably needed a little bit of a gyro, just at the very least to, to calm the towel. So I will be doing that. The other thing that I uh, mentioned in the video, the propeller, it was a 16 by 6. I've now, again from Motion RC Europe, got a 16 by 8, I think this is now. Yeah, 16 by 8, um, because I feel it needs a little bit more uh, oomph in the flight, as again, I relate to in the flight video that's coming. Other than that, we're still in Corona lockdown pretty much. They're calling it intelligent lockdown here, which means you can go out, but um, you know, model flying at a club is not something that I'm sure the uh, government would really be pleased about. That being said, the clubs are closed anyway, at least until the end of May or early June, and this is not something I would fly at a, a park. Um, but when it means, it means that when we do come back in, uh, uh, in a few months' time, uh, the grass will be uh, nice uh, in good condition. It was very bumpy and it had only just been cut, one of the first cuts of the year in this flight review. Um, and you can see actually that it didn't handle so well the bumps. I'm still learning to land this thing. I did actually break the, uh, the connecting rod on the mechanical gear, so I do need to fix that. Um, but then with those better grass conditions, this will definitely be a pussycat, especially with this gyro too. So enjoy this uh, full flight review. It's got some onboard on it as well. And we'll come back later in the year and do another flight review with the new prop and the gyro and better flying conditions all around. Thank you very much and enjoy the review. And welcome to Stuart Warren RC. I'm Stuart Warren. I've got my good friend Tom behind Hi the all. camera. We're here down at my local club in the Netherlands. We're out flying. Uh, there's this whole corona thing going on right now, but uh, we're still at least allowed to come out in open spaces like this. And it is a beautiful open space. But we're here for a flight review on a second hand model that I picked up about a month ago. First day of good weather in a while now. And uh, as you know, I'm all about second hand models. And this model that you see right here is what we're doing the flight review of. Now, to give you a little bit of a history lesson, this is a relatively old kit. It's an Aeronaut German manufacturer, Aeronaut uh, Fornia RF40. And it's uh, a scale model of a, actually, an aerobatic motor glider. So this isn't something you're going to be just stooging around with. It's meant to be actually a little bit aerobatic, and we'll come on to that when we do some flying. Uh, span is approximately 2.9 meter, I think. It's a full composite fuselage and uh, veneered foam wings and um, I've got to say the guy that I got this on, uh, from has done a beautiful beautiful job of finishing it it's very very nice indeed from the you know the scowl exhaust down to the the covering finish to the paint finish um, he's done an excellent job so I'm really really pleased it wasn't the cheapest model for sure but I'm still um, very pleased with it and it's definitely worth the money that I paid now this is running on a 6s setup and this is a Hacker G, no, um, Hacker A50, I think, around 365 kV. And it was actually got, we yeah. were just saying this morning. And they're gonna be out of service end of this month. 
Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't know if you guys are aware, but they're uh, phasing out the 747 from KLM. That's probably one of the last we're going to see. But they're speeding up that uh, phasing out because of the corona thing that's happening right now. So um, that's actually a rare sight, interrupting my video there. Yeah. But anyway, that's worth the interruption. So uh, yes, it's a 6S setup on that hacker motor. The performance is good, but it's only a 15.6 I got on this at the moment. I'm going to swap this out for probably a 15.8 or a 15.10, just to give me uh, that much more um, power uh, when I'm flying along. I just like it a little bit more in reserves, and that uh, different prop will do that. Flight times on this uh, 4,500, I think I'm getting around 10 minutes or so. I haven't flown it to the end yet, um, but I don't really want to. Going around, this doesn't have uh, flaps. This has a very cool feature, something I've never used before, and that is the air brakes there. Now, I've only used them at mid. I haven't used them um, at full yet, and I think if I do it, it'll probably fall out of the sky. So we'll give a little demonstration of that in the air. I'm still getting used to flying the model. I've uh, only flown it three or four times now. I need to work on my landings for sure. As Tom noted earlier, and as you can see from the, you see it on the propeller there, yeah, yeah, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, quite, quite green because the ground clearance is not great. But to be fair, it's the spring now. The grass is a bit bumpy, it is a bit long, but come the summer, when it's like a bowling green, this will be really, really nice. Just means when I take off, I've got a hold up elevator just to keep the nose from going over, feed in power, and then ease off the elevator. A bit like a Spitfire, actually. Now, Tom, I'm gonna quickly turn it over, put it on its nose. Now, what can we see here? So, I've got it over here. Nice, clean airframe. Now, obviously, let's see that gear working. This unit is actually um, a unit that was made specifically for this kit. Uh, very hard to get. The guy told me uh, when I got it, he hunted all over Germany and he thinks he got the last one. This is a mechanical unit with a high torque metal geared standard size servo. Uh, operating that and it's sprung as well which really helps especially with my bumpy landings at the moment and it's got these little tip uh, wheels um, what are they called uh, wing tip yeah the carriage S sport uh, carriage yeah now they're fixed and I, I think that is how they are on the full size too as I said this is a, a scale model but it, it flies really really nice it does need rudder in the turn and we'll come on to the flight performance in a minute when we fly he originally had a OS Gemini 120 which is a beautiful engine but um it's since been converted to electric and uh, flies really well. In terms of my modifications, sorry Tom, didn't really have to do much. I just, um, I've already got cutaways of this Tom, so you don't need to worry. Okay. I just uh, made a battery tray out of some aluminium uh, right angled uh, pieces. Battery slides in there really, really nicely. And I uh, adjusted the motor mount so I had a smaller gap here. That's pretty much it. Now we've got an onboard action camera here and uh, that will be our onboard camera for this uh, full flight review of the Aeronaut Fournier. Something I've wanted for a long, long time. I love uh, composite models and I love old German kits. And I think if things go well, I've seen uh, members at my other club, they use, uh, they're experimenting with smoke uh, cannons or smoke grenades, you know, from um, paintballing, Tom? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm gonna eventually try that on the wingtips, I think. Because I've seen uh, the full size fly in the UK. It does a really nice uh, display with smoke on the tips. I'd really like to do that. But I think we'll save that for the summer. Uh, for now, we're just going to get on with the flight review uh, and we'll take it for its paces. Remember, I am still getting used to it, um, but it's a very, very nice model. As you'll see, Tom, now when we do the full flight review of this, the Aeronaut Fournier. You ready? Let's do it. Excellent. Okay, so we're rolling. Got the onboard on. And what I'm going to do now is. Uh, well, we've got a nitro go flying, but you know, what can we do? The sun is fading, and it's actually quite cold. So we're just gonna get on with the flight review. So Tom, I'm going to... Give me the uh, trust me now. Yeah, I think I'll probably walk it out yeah. now. On the field! <laughs> Peace. Death and life. What? Enjoy flying. Yeah, it's gonna be a landing. <laughs> Stuart is running. Oh, pretty nice. Pretty good. Yeah. It's a run for your life. <laughs> that was a bit hairy. <laughs> Bless him. I forgive him because it's a beautiful little model. I will just wait for him to uh, die. Oh, the engine. <laughs> You're so nice. That was a Freudian <laughs> slip. That'll be me one day. Come on, kill the engine. <laughs> Smells nice though. 
Yeah, love it that smells smell. nice. Yeah, I love that smell. So on takeoff, uh, much like a Spitfire, you need to hold in a bit of elevator, let the tower get flying, then it will just uh, lift up on its own. That's main, mainly because of the ground clearance, especially with this grass is not great. But uh, let's give it a go. I'm on mid rates there, mid rates on the rudder. All right. All right. Arm the engine, motor, sorry. Throttle active. Throttle active, taking off. All right, here we go. Here we go. Slowly he's on the, uh, the throttle. Bit of rudder to compensate. And she's away. The uh, gear on the tips there gets a little caught in the grass. Now you need rudder in the turn, so I initiate rudder uh, in the turn like that, but look at that. That was uh, pretty much full power takeoff at the top there, at the uh, end of that takeoff run. Nice and smooth, hey Tom? Really? Look at that. Really nice. All right, let's bring it round. We'll do a low pass. Low left, right. Again, rudder in the turn. It's a big, gentle model, but you've got to watch out. You don't want to slow it up too much on the turn, I found. Low pass, full power. Prop sounds a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Before we uh, I had some tape on there that was coming off. Now that's full power climb out, and it will run out of power there, so I'm going to still turn it there and then catch it on the elevator. Uh, mid, well, third throttle now, but it definitely glides. That's nice. Um, now you saw on that full power pass, I'll do another one now. Uh, that's about three quarter uh, throttle in the turn there. It's not super, super fast. It's probably scale, but I want a little bit more. So I am going to go up. I can't go up in diameter. I'm going to go up in pitch to about a 10, 10 inch, I think. Uh, 16, 10, 16, 6 on this at the moment. But look, that really grooves. Again, rudder there. I'll bring it downwind. Doesn't handle quite so well downwind. You can feel it for sure. But this is uh, 10 miles an hour or so, 15 kilometers. Full power downwind. Look at that. Ready, Tom? Ready. Oh yeah, that grooves. I like it. All right, so let's take it up. Um, I am going to ease off a little bit in the turn there. A bit of elevator in the turn. And let's do, first of all, a loop on low, thro uh, low, uh, low rates. Ready? Ready. And up. You have to keep pulling up, keep pulling up, keep pulling up. Ease off the top with the power and the elevator. Then on again with the elevator. Really, really nice. It's not going to be a super aerobatic model. The, uh, the full size is not. I just love grooving with this. This is my first big motor glider. And it's not just for stooging around. You can do that, but you've got you to whip it around a bit. There you go, a little bit of a wing over there. Opposite rudder. Lovely. That's, that's looking really good, I think, Tom. Yeah, it's All nice. Right, let's bring it around again. Getting a bit cold now. And I don't like flying on the edge with that uh, smaller prop. But I am going to do a roll now in high rates. It's not very fast, but here we go. Okay. Pulling up a bit. Pull over a little bit of uh, down and then round. Very Looks, good stuff. Gonna go up scale. There. Gonna roll off the top of this. Whoa, a bit slow to initiate there. Gotta get used to that. That's actually the first time I've done that. Like I said, I've only flown it today and this is probably about the fourth flight. Now let's slow it down and do a, a low pass uh, at mid to third throttle. You got that, Tom? Yep. Very solid. Getting bumped around a little bit. Lovely, look at that. You could almost do a touch and go on those wheels, but I'm sure they were <laughs> digging right away. That's the climb out there. Not great, but definitely enough and nice and scale. Loses the power at the top there, for sure. I do need a bit more pitch. Coming round, do a bit of a wing over now, full power. Yeah, very nice. Now, let me try these air brakes. Now I was told that air brakes can dump it. I've never used air brakes. I've only used uh, mid because uh, in landing, but let's put the mid uh, uh, air brakes on now and see what happens. See how it pitches down a bit? Yep. Now the idea is that it's just meant to slow the model down, not necessarily lift it up like flaps do. Um, so I didn't actually go into a uh, Forward. into four air brakes not yet anyway i get a bit more confidence but yeah what i want to do eventually with this once i get really used to the model i do want to experiment with fitting um smoke canisters to the wingtips i saw in the uk at an air show last year one of these full-size flying uh, with those smoke uh, canisters on the tips 
really really nice sorry guys i just got to uh reset my flight timer 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds right there we go uh, it's saying 10 seconds, that's about 5 minutes into the alarm, but I know I got a lot more. I landed after 6 minutes and it was still at 3.9. How's that looking, Tom? Yeah, it'd be great. Half throttle there. Nice sound. Oh, there you go, a bit of sunshine. Kick the rudder in there, that looks good. And let's do another low pass. This is all I really want to do with this kind of model. It's cruising around. Oh yeah, look at that. It's funny because you, you see one uh, wheel on the tip and you think the other one's knocked off, but you do see it in the end. A little bit of a stall turn there. i got to work on my aerobatics with this model for sure and uh, really hone my skills on it. But it does fly very nice. The, the weight is around three and a half uh, kilos uh, from memory. And um, with this span, it handles it really, really well. I'm going to do another half roll off the top here, Tom. Good. Going up, going up, going up. And rolling with a bit of rudder, that's better. Now I'm on four rates aileron, which actually really helps me whip it around a bit. And I need less rudder in the turn, actually. Ah, oh, that's half throttle. Nice. There's not much difference between half uh, throttle and full throttle. Uh, I do know that my amp drawer is uh, pretty good. I've got an 80 amp speed controller in there. I think I'm pulling around 55 amps. That's not much. No, it's not much at all. So I can definitely go up in pitch and it not be a problem. I'll test it, of course. Should we try a landing, Tom? Try it. I'm going to try no, a landing. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Now, it does glide quite well, but you've got to keep a bit of power on, I found. Now, I'm going to try this. Helps if the gear is down. I'm going to try this with no air brakes. I'm about, I need to keep the power on. Fly it in. And then, there, there. Yeah, see, I've got to get used to it. I've definitely got to get used to it. I don't want to dump this model. Um, should we try it with air brakes this time? Why not? Let's give it a go. We'll go in the mid. See, it will. You notice that in the turn, if I if it gets a bit of wind underneath it, it will continue to uh, push the wing over. Maybe this would benefit from a gyro. I don't know, but all right, let's get the gear down again. Once I come into wind, I'm going to take it out further this time. I won't put the air brakes on until I'm into wind. Gear comes down. Now the air brakes are on. Definitely got to keep some power on now because it does drop down quite a bit. That is a bit slow this time, isn't it? Power, power, power. Flaring, flaring, flaring. It's better. Oh, yeah. oh, it stays on the ground nicely yeah. when the air brakes on. Yeah. Well, should we go over? Yeah. I think that was better, right? With the uh, with the air brakes. Definitely was. I haven't tried mid as I said. Um, what I want to do now, I think I can pretty much wrap up this flight review. There's not much to it. It's a, it's a simple but elegant model. I'm going to be exploring it more. Perhaps I'll come back and do a video uh, in the summer when I get those uh, smoke tanks on. But I'm going to disarm the throttle now. Throttle and let's have a quick look at the cell checker. We can't talk about the timer because I uh, reset the timer. Now, Tom, oh, good <laughs> man. Of course, I left my uh, cell checker over at the bench. <laughs> Tom's been hanging out with me way too long. He knows that I'm terrible for this kind of thing. Uh, Tom, you want to come around this side. Maybe get a bit of the detail as well. Canopy just uh, screws on with these thumb screws. Really, really nice. Uh, the cockpit is a lovely little design there. You can oh, see that's that. That's nice. Really nice and simple and clean. All right, so let's have a look at this. Maybe I can have another round. So this is 6S. Put it in, hands are getting cold. 51% and I reset my timer. Um, it was, what was it? It was seven minutes to start with. Reset that's that's seven. I'm now five minutes into that. So that's eight or nine minutes. That's pretty good. That's I've pretty still good. got 51%. I like that. I really, really like that. So I am going to have a few more flights. Tom's going to go home because he's getting cold and bored, I can see. And we need to take a look at the zero. Oh, there's a zero in the background. I bet that's got a really nice say to radio that's something else that i'm going to get into later in the year on the channel uh, i do have a big warbird quarter scale i definitely want to get that up and running this year i've decided uh, just an fyi i've got enough models now now it's just about getting them done and getting them flown uh, this one is now staying in the hangar for sure so that will do it for this flight review tom we're going to have a takeoff uh, before this guy goes up oh it's electric yeah it's electric. Oh, it's disappointing somewhat disappointing <laughs> i'm going to have one more flight and uh, see this zero fly 
Thank you very much for watching. If you liked, please like. If you have any comments, if you have this model, please share your experiences with me. I did post a little bit of this on the Stuart Warren RC Facebook, and with all new models, I uh, post little teas there as well. So yes, comment below, welcome those comments. Uh, I'd like to see more videos of this model. I searched YouTube when I first got it. There's really not that many out there. So hopefully that will, uh, this video will add to the equation. It's a short and sweet one, but it's a simple model and it just does what you, know, you expect and what you would hope. So thank you very much for watching. Maybe there'll be another video later. Tom, thank you. You're welcome. I've wa waffled on far too long now. Um, thank you very much for watching for the last time. And I'll see you next time on Stuart One RC for the next flight review or engine run or whatever. Take care. Thank you very much. And goodbye.